We got something new in the mail today, floppy catters! And this guy is super ready to go outside, so I'll try to make it quick. This is a food that one of our readers told us about. Uh, she just started giving it to her kitties and said that they are really liking it. It's very palatable and that it's made of good, <laughs> hi babies, good ingredients. And also it comes in these little containers. Like I always think of them as like chicken stock containers. What do you guys think? And I'm excited about these because specifically this turkey stew um, only has turkey ingredients, which is really important for my sister's cat, Addie, who um, isn't supposed to eat what Chinese medicine considers warm meats um, like chicken, but turkey is a cold meat, so that works. Okay, so there's turkey, chicken stew, Wild salmon and turkey stew, and then chicken and crab stew. So I'm gonna try these out on Charlie and Trig, and I will um, let you guys know how it goes. I will, in this unboxing video, include what they look like on the inside. I'll try to take videos of introducing it to them. Right now, um, <laughs> apparently the box has some really good adhesive on it and some good places to rub the pheromones. Uh, and then it looks like it has, they have these um, cat treats, baked bites, soft and tasty. Wild tuna is the first ingredient. Well, we'll see what's on these ones. Oh, Gaga, you need to smell this one? Oh, it's just a plastic bag, so I just thinking it must be for me. Chicken, tuna, chickpeas, beet molasses, coconut glycerin. Mm. Not a big fan of those, but as far as those ingredients. Bub, get it. Get it. Get it, Willie. Get it, Willie. <laughs> Are you going to open that one up? Well, I mean, they might like these, and obviously one bag isn't going to kill them, but it's probably not something I would want to feed them long term. Okay, guys. Let's see what else is in here. Whoa. Homestyle stews and treats for pets. I will also include a link in the um, description of this video where you can buy this online. That specific reader told me about it being on Chewy, chewy.com. So I'll include that link and I don't know, I'll look for it on Amazon and see. I always try to offer you guys a couple different buying options in case you need them. A reader told me that a long time ago to offer buying options. I thought you wanted to go outside. Do you want to smell? Chiggy? <laughs> All right, guys. First up is the chicken stew, and I have opened it. It's pretty easy to open. I just need some scissors to cut off the top, and here's what it looks like. Probably get in there with a spoon and scoop the rest of that out, and then offer it to the kitties. When I'm offering a new food, I don't add water to it because I really want them to know the flavor of it. So that's what I've, I usually add water to make it a little better for their kidneys and hopefully get more moisture in them. But it is a rare thing, my friends, for Charlie to immediately go for a food. So this is a good sign. So my friend Teresa, who told me about this, who think I'll go, uh, told me that both of her cats have not had diarrhea on it. So we'll see how that goes as well. Look at this little guy. Woo! So although Charlie's a dominant cat, he usually lets Trig take over um, <laughs> the food area. Chiggy just finished eating too. Chiggy, how you have any room in your tummy? Chiggy, how you have any... Oh my gosh. It has been a long time, you guys, since both of them immediately went for a food. This is pretty amazing. Get it, gal. All right, well, I'll report as we open the other flavors how those go. But so far, I'd say this one's a hit for them to go to any food immediately. And that's also, if you saw in the box, I always ask when we <clears throat> are sent food to review that I get at least two cans of each, in this case, two boxes of each, 
so that I can be for sure that they'll like it. So I'll cover that when we kind of do a review of everything. And a heads up on my reviews on food. I All I can tell you is whether or not my cats ate it and if we had diarrhea or not. I can't really, can't tell you. I'm not a cat nutritionist. I'm not a vet. So the best I can do is tell you if it's palatable and if it causes diarrhea in my cats. And here's the consistency of that one. Pretty similar rub salmon turkey stew to the other one we already tried. Uh oh, this is six ounces. Oops. And these pond nash bowls are supposed to fit about, um, whatchamacallit, five ounces, so that's pretty good. I'll serve it to Charlie and Trig and see what they think. Bob, this one, right here. It's a new one. It's a new one. Are you going to come check it out? All right, so on the first one, they both went for it immediately like Trig is now. They did about 10 licks each and then never touched it again. So that's why, like I said in an earlier portion of this video, I like to do at least two cans of food or, you know, two tries before I know whether or not it's going to be a keeper. Because literally they did this on the chicken stew and then didn't touch it again. Looks like Chiggy might go for a little bit longer this time. If he settles down, if he basically puts his bottom on the ground, then I'll know for sure if he is more into it. Or if I find the food bowl empty, that's another good sign. I actually just downloaded the Truth About Pet Foods list tonight. Um, you can pay $10 to $100 for it if you want. And um, it's put together by Susan Fixton, who runs the truthaboutpetfood.com. She's very diligent about looking into not only where the meats in a pet food are sourced, but where the pet food is made, along with a billion other things. And for it to, for this food to make it on her list means a lot to me. And so I really want my cats to like it because I think it's really important that it's on there. She really investigates to the teeniest, tiniest degree where the, the food is sourced from and where um, it's made, what ingredients, if the ingredients are safe for cats and dogs. Her dog section is a lot more comprehensive than her cat, but it's pretty rare that a wet food makes the list. It's usually a freeze dried raw or a raw food that makes the list. Okay, Chiggy didn't settle down, but that could be also because I'm sitting right here and that's not normal. That's not how he normally eats. So I'll let you know how this one goes when we do the next one. As I stopped filming, Charlie came over to start eating it. So again, same response from both of them, immediate interest, about 10 licks each. Chiggy did probably 20 though this time. Hmm, I'm sure I will settle down a little bit. And by settling down, I mean like put his bottom down. He also doesn't get as intimidated by me being as close to him when he eats. Hmm. This is a little bit more than last time, folks. See how it goes. They do have their regular food left, too. All right, I'll report back. Also thought to mention, I'll include a link to Susan Thixton's website where you can download the list. Um, it's basically a donation to her website and all the work that she does and all the investigations and et cetera that she does looking into pet foods. It's well worth 10 bucks and it's probably well worth a hundred. Next up on the Karu Classics is Turkey Stew. And I actually gave two boxes of this to my sister because her cat Addie can only eat cold meats, which means like a, in Chinese or Eastern medicine, certain meats have certain warmth to it and turkey is a cold meat. And the nice thing about this one 
uh, I don't know where the ingredients are. There, it's only turkey that's in the ingredients. So that's pretty rare. Usually there's always chicken involved. So she was pretty excited about that. All right, here it goes. Sometimes when my cats won't eat a food at first, I move it to a different location and, well, he tried it, but <laughs> he's not going for it. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know when we open up the next one. Turkey, stew, and crab, though, they did completely eat. All right, guys, here's the last flavor. Real quick, I wanted to show you to open it up. You just pop that up and then push right here, and then that's how you can cut off the top. Charlie's pretty excited about this one. I told him it's our last one. We're going to try the last flavor. I don't want to cut your whiskers. Okay. So cut that off. You can, it says you can tear it, but mm, gosh, you'd have to have like fingers of steel to do that. All right, here's the consistency of this one. Yummy. Do you wish it was your dinner? I misspoke earlier, so I wanted to correct that. This is the one that they gobbled down, the wild salmon and turkey stew. I think I said like turkey and crab but it's the chicken and crab that they haven't had yet. And then they did not gobble this one down and they did not gobble the turkey only one down. I'm not really surprised about it just cause they, Charlie likes most land animal stuff, but Chiggy pretty much likes fish only. And um, fish isn't the best thing to feed cats because of like mercury levels in our oceans. But you know, my diet isn't perfect either, so. I offered it to Charlie, he didn't go for it. Now I'm offering it to Chiggy, who is reluctant to be in here. Oh, but not reluctant enough not to say, okay, I'll give it a go. Well, maybe I will not. God, I think you should try that ones. <laughs> Looks like turkey and salmon's a hit in our house, but I will continue to monitor it and see how it goes. Here are all the flavors that they offer. So the four that we got, the, oh, well, wait, there's wild salmon and chicken stew. Hmm, we might need to try that one because the wild salmon and turkey stew is the one that they liked. Hmm, and then this is the one that I just did. So then there's a beef stew. I might need to try that as well. I'll include a link in the about section below to where you can buy these online. Let me know if you have any questions and I will probably do a final review video in four to six weeks. And again, our reviews on pet food just have to do with whatchamacallit. This is their little brochure, um, palatability and if my cats like them, which there's really no indication if your cats will like them because for example, Amy's cats, I gave her, I got three of each of these flavors. And so I gave her two of the turkey stew to see if her cats would like them and they and it, they gobbled it down and mine wouldn't touch it. So it doesn't make sense. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel grow and helps me bring you more videos like this in the future. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.